My name is Bob Ginsberg and I'm the president and founder of RPG Industries. We are a job shop specializing in precision manufactured components. At RPG, we've always tried to be on the leading edge of technology. It started with wire EDM and we added our first abrasive water jet machine in the late 1990s. We were one of the first shops in the area to have abrasive water jet. We've always tried to lead the market rather than lag behind and we felt that additive was our next step. When we were introduced to the Metal X, we were blown away. We saw the possibilities. We can cut delivery times down considerably. We were able to print overnight, lights out, without any human intervention other than getting the printer started. We greatly save time, and time is money. We have a, a customer, D&D Automobile Restoration, they had a part from a, a classic car that they're restoring that is no longer available. The part they're making for us now is for a Solex carburetor. It's a part that we cannot find anywhere in the world at the present time. This is a one-of-a-kind part, the perfect use for the Metal X. We were desperate and they approached us about this new technology that they had just acquired. They were excited. They were getting very frustrated. We took the part from them, we scanned it, we created a model. RPG printed a part in Onyx for us. Uh, as a trial run, we fit that to the carburetor and it fits perfectly. They were able to tap the holes in the Onyx, test fit it, make sure that everything would work, and then we went ahead and committed to printing it on the Metal X. If you were to try to machine this part from scratch, it would be cost prohibitive. It enables us to put this car back the way it was originally delivered, which we were unable to do at this point because we didn't have that part. Now we're going to be able to create that part and make this car whole again. So it's wonderful. Composite and metal printing are really going to be the future in our industry and we want to be the early adopters and the experts in that area before it becomes mainstream.